All right, so now we are going to take the back piece and sew it across here, all right? So again, you can use a serger or you can use your machine and use a stretch stitch. I usually pull the strings, pull them, and tie. And cut the excess. Same for the other side. You gotta have a back and a front all sewed together. All right, so now you're gonna take one side, open it up of the pants, the front, and then the back. Open it up and lay them on top of each other. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew the sides up and you're gonna sew, sew the middle up the middle seam. Make sure you line it all up. So you're gonna line it all up and then take it back to the serger or the sewing machine. All right, again, take it to the sewing machine and go ahead and take it to the serger. And make sure you have it all lined up and serge it all together. put something in the middle to make sure the seams are going to line up perfectly. I usually pin it together. Usually I don't pin myself together, but when it's lining up the seams so it can be perfect, I will put something in the middle. So make sure you are surgeon both sides.
but you did the middle all, all together. So now you're gonna have to go down the sides. Go down the sides. Don't forget to cut your threads. So now it's time to do the side seams. Match them up and then take it to the machine. Again, if you're a beginner, please pin your stuff. It'll make it much easier than just grabbing as you go. This side is done just to do the other side. Time to do the other side. All right, so it's all done. I'm turning it inside out. It's not all done. But, so these how it looks so far. It's so cute. And so the back is gonna be higher So now it's time to do the bodice. So these, and then I'll hem them at the end. All right, so now it's time to sew the bodice. You're gonna um, make sure you do the shoulder seam. Remember I said I didn't switch the um, the lining, so it's gonna be the same lining as the um, bodice. So do the um, side seams. One side and then the other side. And then do the other side. When you get done, they all the two shoulder strings is gonna be um, sewn together. And then you're gonna do the same for the lining. bodice so you already did the top part and then the lining you sewed them at the so shoulder sleeves seams sorry um so now you're gonna put the top um you're gonna put the body i mean you're gonna put the lining and then the main piece on top of each other right sides facing and then you're gonna sew around the neckline the neck part Right. So make sure you line it up perfect. And 
I'm going to use that the same. Just put the pants. And now we're about to sew it all around. So basically you're sewing this whole thing around, just the top. From the front to the back, just this whole circle. So it's all sewed around. All right, so now, after you sew that around, you are going to, it's called the burrito method. All right, so you're gonna take the, um, you're gonna take the, lining you're gonna take that open it up so you're gonna separate so after you separate the lining from you know um, not separate well you can call it separate you open it up and put in it wrong size together now. Ah. All right, so now this is how it will look. Oh, sorry. So this is how it will look. The lining on the inside. All right. So this is how it will look. So you're gonna lay it open. The lining on the bottom. Hold on. Let me zoom in. You're gonna do it like that. So the lining is gonna be at the bottom. All right, so what you're gonna do, you call it the burrito, because you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it. Bring this part up, bring that part up, bring that part up, and then you're gonna flip the lining up. And now, you're gonna sew this. So that's what it's gonna look like now. So you're gonna sew all uh, from here, then that, all the way to here. All right, so you're gonna sew the armholes together. So from that side to this side. All right, so now let's take it to the machine. Make sure you don't catch the other, the other parts of the garment and sew them inside. So be very careful that you do not catch the rest of the shoulder seam. Let me catch the other parts of the garment inside the because then you have to unstitch everything to get it up. So now look, it is all sewn together. All right, so now you're gonna pull the, you're gonna pull it through. So that's how it's going to look. You're gonna pull the bodice through. And ta-da, so one side is all, 
all stitch. See? All stitch. So now it's time to do the burrito method on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna explain it again. So you have the bodice, right side up, and then you have the lining on the bottom. So you're gonna lay it like this, the lining, and so you're gonna, you're gonna fold it, fold it, fold it till you get to the opening. You're gonna take this part and you're gonna take the bottom piece and flip it up so that the right sides are together. But you're sound you sandwiching the bodice. So you do that all the way around. Let me do a pin for the use a pin for the sake of this. Go around and make sure you are doing it. So you do on the other side. Take the bodice piece and you take the lining piece, match them together, and then you gonna surge it around there. All right, so after we poured everything together, sewed it all up, this is the look. And now it's time to sew the sides together. You're going to sew this side together. So put it on top of each other. Right sides together. Right sides together. And you're gonna sew it going right here. Okay. All right, so now I'm time to attach the top of the jumper to the pants. So you're gonna have it like this, all right? So you're gonna turn it wrong sides out. All right? Wrong sides out. You're gonna put the jumper inside of the, the top of the jumper inside of the bottom of the jumper, all right? And so what you're gonna do is you should have went in and quartered it so that it can all match up. Take the sides, match the sides with the side. Jumper, the top of the jumper facing wrong sides out. And you're gonna go and surge around here. Alright, so 
after we surged that all around. So now you're going to flip it up. And then, there you go. Your little jumper. So now you just have to hem the edges, the ends. And you can, um, you can top stitch it if you would like to. It's all up to you. And if that's what you want to do, um, top stitch it around the arm holes and around the neck hole. So now it's time to hem and I will take it to my cover stitch. All right, so I'm going to take my garment and then I'm going to turn it down so I can hem it. So we all done with the jumper. Super cute. So here we go. All hemmed. And so, yeah. It's super cute. Like again, I'm about to hang it up. So y'all can see it. All right, so here is the jumper. Super cute. So cute. 